Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian. Just coming back to you guys today with a video on how to fix crashing issues in the Gigabyte UD4 BIOS. Now, probably some of you guys are like, whoa, 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 you're on a Gigabyte X99 motherboard now? Uh, yes, that is right. So I am on a Gigabyte X99 motherboard as my MSI uh, X99S Slide Plus motherboard actually crapped out after only two weeks of using it. So I will make a video detailing what happened. However, I'm still waiting for MSI's response on that, so I will give them a chance. And honestly, their customer support is actually pretty nice. So I will give them a chance to answer before I make a video on what I think happened. Uh, but anyway, let's wait. In the meantime, there is a problem with this BIOS, and that is that it was crashing when I first got it. So what you have to do in order to fix, if you're getting crashing while you're trying to overclock, is update your BIOS to the latest version. So that's F8. So I've updated this BIOS to F8. And another thing for some odd reason was the full screen logo. So if you go over to BIOS features up the top here by hitting the left or the right arrow two times, you can go down to full screen logo and disable it. When I had this enabled, for some reason, it would crash randomly when I tried to lock in settings in the BIOS. So uh, if you disable this full screen logo, you should be able to overclock as well. Uh, that's something I noticed. It's a weird problem as well. So, uh, I mean, there's some bugs. Obviously, it's just been released, the X99 platform, so there will be some bugs that need to be ironed out. Uh, however, this motherboard, I will be reviewing it. However, it needs some time. Uh, I'm going to definitely give it some time before I give this motherboard a review as I want to know the ins and outs, and obviously I want to know if it's uh, something else in my system is causing the problem, but I don't think it is. I think it was the motherboard that was at fault before. So um, this motherboard, honestly though, the first impressions are really good. The BIOS is beautiful. Uh, if you guys are wondering, in order to get to this BIOS screen, if you're on the Gigabyte uh, BIOS, you just press F2, and see here it'll actually uh, toggle through the different BIOSes. So, uh, there's actually three versions, which is actually really cool. I really like this feature. So the BIOS is really good. It's fully featured. I really do love this BIOS. Um, and I will give a review of this motherboard and I will detail what's happening soon. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Your City and I'll help you out as best as I can. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to catching you guys in a video very soon. So yeah, I've just basically just been so busy. Uh, I had a dead motherboard. I had to diagnose everything, change power supplies and whatnot. And yeah, that's what happened. So the last few days, I've just been pulling my hair out. I've been using my Z87 rig in the meantime while I sent the other motherboard back and got the UD4. And so yeah, I've been, yeah, and then working. I got to work actually this whole weekend as well. So anyway, guys, peace out for now. Bye.